Welcome to Radio Friends on Tuesday, November the 4th. This is Election Day. If you haven't voted yet, it's important to get out and cast your vote. All right. Now, that said, we turn to uh, two of my friends on my left, Jerry Rickler. Good to have you here, Jerry. Good to see and you. And Anne DeRosier. Hi. It's a pleasure to have both Thanks, of you here Paul. from Jeff City. And actually, you're representing the Jefferson City Art Club. And you've this. got the fling coming the up. The fling. Uh, it's fall time. It's time to fling. Yeah. And, uh, well, tell me about it. Well, the fling was originated last year, and it's to celebrate, commemorate our 111th year for the club. The it's Jefferson a, City Art Club has been around 111 years. That's right. Correct. That's pretty good. That is good. So you guys are doing something right. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it's going to be in the evening. It's a social based around a great atmosphere of music, a beverage, a food, and art. Mm -hmm. as the art members will display their artwork uh, at the uh, social. Yeah. So it's a good, comfortable, we're inviting all. And what do you want to add to this? Well, uh, we had it last year, and it was just beautiful ambiance. Uh, we invited new people to come and join us, and we had several new members, and that's mm -hmm. our goal, is to let people know the art club exists and to come, because they probably know us already, being community people. Yeah. And... Uh, we had wonderful food. We had artwork from all the members. We now, do you, you don't have to just live in Jefferson City to come no, to the Jefferson no, City Art Club. No, no, no. If you're so in the you're looking for people from all over, wherever they can hear our voice or see us on the internet, they're welcome. That's right. We'd love to have them. My favorite line is, "Join us for the love of art," and that has been a, a success. We're having people come from all around yeah. communities, uh, like yeah. those arts. You're going to have artwork on display. That's so, right. right. We're asking the members to bring several pieces that they'll have on their own easels. We also have ceramic artists who will be bringing things to set on tables. Mm -hmm. um, we're asking people who enjoy art. You don't have to be an artist to come and become a member of the Jeff City Art Club. And everything that's on display will be for sale? I'm not sure about that. I'm sure a lot of it will be, okay. but it's also just showing the, the variety of artwork that our club has. Yeah. That yeah. variety of artists. So you've got everything. You've got good food, you've got good art, and you've got good people all getting together. Yes. In the spirit of art, it's uh, it's a great uh, social. We was just overwhelmed last year, the response and yeah. the camaraderie and, and the overall good feeling when you walked in the door. And that's what we're going to try to display again this year. All right, Jerry. So give us a, the date and the time again. The date is November the 11th. The doors open at 7 o'clock. No, isn't it November 14th? Oh, I'm sorry. November 14th, correct. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, the doors open at 7 o'clock and we'll finish out at 9 with a, uh, a door prize of a $25 free membership to whoever's name is drawn. We will have uh, other drawings throughout the evening also. I okay, forget. all right. And so it's free. It's free. So mark it on your calendar. It's 10 days from today, November the 14th, Correct. starting at 7 o'clock. And the location is? At the uh, Hawthorne Bank Community Center on 36, at, uh, 3600 Amazonas Boulevard. Okay. In Jefferson Right City. off of Truman. Right. In Jefferson City, okay. east side. Thank you so much for Thank coming you, by. Thank you, Paul. My pleasure having you here again. Mm -hmm. and it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. Okay? Now, we turn to Mike Dunn from KBIA, and he is here for a very special reason, because tomorrow is the start of the annual, or semi-annual, semi. Mm -hmm. semi-annual fund drive. You want to tell us about that, Mike? Well, it's our biggest pledge drive of the, of the year. We do a fall and a spring. This mm -hmm. is the, the really big one. Uh, we're looking to raise three hundred and twenty thousand um, dollars. It's three hundred twenty thousand. Yeah. that's yeah, a, lot, a of lot of money. That's a lot of money. It uh, takes a lot of money to buy the programs that we that we carry that people enjoy, like Morning Edition that people just heard a few minutes ago, and 
all things considered, coming up this afternoon. Yeah. Uh, membership is our single biggest source of income. We So what you're telling our listeners right now is this membership drive that's going to run for six days, mm -hmm. run six days in the fall and what is it, five days in the... be five or six days in the spring. In the spring. Yep. So those 12 days are 12 of the most important days in the life of KBIA. From a um, dollar standpoint, yes. I mean, the, the programs throughout the year are what's really important, but those days are the days that are the most significant in terms of paying for those programs. Right, right. Uh, with that $320,000 that you're going to raise, how many people, how many people call in during that period? Well, uh, the average gift is about $120. Mm -hmm. So if you divide 120 to 320, That's you're going to wind up with yeah. 3,000 people or something That's a lot like of that. people. Yeah. That's a lot of people. Yeah. And the thing, Keeps people busy on the phones. Yeah. But the thing to keep in mind is perhaps you're, you're listening, you listen to KBIA all the time. And maybe you've never become a member. Maybe you've never picked up that phone and made a, a, a pledge. This could be the first year, the start of something with could you. Could be, yeah. If, if you're listening to the station and you're enjoying what you hear on the station, it'd be kind of nice if you helped out also. Uh, because th these programs don't just happen. No. They takes don't a, just happen. It takes a lot of work and a lot of money. Yeah. Yeah. You sound like you've done pitches before, though. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> yeah. Paul, he's going to be on the air tomorrow. With, tomorrow with I'm going to yep. be with you. Yep. And I can honestly say with, with all of my heart, I believe in what we are talking about. Mm -hmm. I honestly do believe that. KBIA is a, it's a, it's a wonderful station. It is a, uh, a real treasure in our community because you hear things on KBIA that you are not going to hear on other stations. The, the in-depth mm -hmm. reports that come from NPR, you're not going to hear anywhere else. That's correct. It, it's uh, cost prohibitive for commercial stations to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible. So if you are concerned about what is happening in our world and you want to keep up to date with it, the one place that you can be sure you're going to get that information and unbiased information Absolutely. is with NPR, in-depth. So if you enjoy it, and you listen on a regular basis, why not join the club? Do you, do you call it a club or eh, it's not really? Uh, it's not really a club. Uh, Can I call it the club? Oh, sure. Join the club. <laughs> 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 and the number to call, if, if you want to jump on the bandwagon right now and call, it's 882-91-FM. Uh, yes. 882-9136. But starting tomorrow, uh, the pledge drive on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Right. Right. Mike Dunn. Thanks. Best of luck. Continued Appreciate success, it. I will say. Okay. Okay. All right. uh, tomorrow, Joy Sweeney, Consul for Drug Free Youth. Our program directed by Travis McMillan, Reynolds Journalism Institute. Audio is Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Lowell Thomas, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.